What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here and this is Amazon Fire HD 8 Plus Tips and Tricks. So in this video, I'm going to show you a variety of different hidden features about the tablet. So let's get started. So these are my Amazon Fire HD 8 Plus tips and tricks. This tablet is brand new. It was just launched in June of 2019. So definitely take a look at the link in the video description to see the most up-to-date pricing for it. But the first tip that I want to show you is how to make the tablet faster. So to get started with this, pull down the shade, then go to the gear, which is the settings, then go down to device options, then go to about, and then you're going to see the serial number. Tap on that a bunch of times and then you will open up developer options. So you might have saw a small pop-up down there for a second, but that indicated that developer options has now been enabled. Then from here, you're gonna to wanna to go back and you'll see that we now have developer options in the device options. So then tap on that. And then you're gonna see a bunch of different things here, but make sure to turn this on, tap on okay, and then continue to scroll down until you see three different animation settings. So we have window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. And by the way, don't worry, you're not modifying anything permanently with the tablet. In fact, if you want that developer options option to completely go away, you can always factory reset the device. So these are the defaults, of course, but you can switch it to a variety of different levels. So you can completely turn the animations off. So by turning those animations off throughout the whole interface here, things are gonna be a lot quicker since there are no animations. So whether you're going to the camera or you are going to the settings, there's now no animations to slow down the device. Now you might like having some animations and if that's the case, go back to developer options, scroll down again, and then you can set everything here to 0.5x if you want. So that'll make things a little bit quicker, but you'll still have some animations. So that's another option that you can go with potentially. But you can see here, just going through the interface is a lot quicker, it's a lot more efficient because you don't have to wait for those animations to actually be implemented. Now you also have the ability to make the animations extremely slow. You can set it to 10X and you can see this is way too slow. I mean, going around the device, you know, it's not realistic here that there'd be any situation where this would make sense, but it is kind of a cool option as well but I'm personally gonna put everything at 0.5X. I feel like that's the sweet spot for every single one of those animation settings. So we'll go back to there, 0.5X, whoops, 0.5X and 0.5X. So now things are faster, but you still do get some animations. So I recommend kind of giving that a try and then seeing which specific animation speed best fits your needs and best improves your experience when using the tablet. So by default, with the Amazon Fire HD8+, Plus, you get a gray keyboard here. Now you do have the ability to switch this to a lighter color if you wish. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So go home, pull down the shade, go to the gear, which is the settings again, and then from here, you're gonna go up to search, type in theme, and then you're gonna see keyboard and language input methods, and then go to current keyboard settings, and then you can tap on deny or allow, it doesn't really make a difference here. But then you're gonna see the theme, so you can switch that over to light, and then now we'll go back to the web browser, and you can see that the keyboard is now light instead of being gray. That's just a little thing, but Definitely something that I originally didn't even know you could change. So it is really cool that you do get that flexibility here with the tablet. Now, if you're ever concerned that you might accidentally lose your tablet, then this next tip is definitely something that you're gonna wanna implement. So pull down the shade, go to the settings, go down to device options, and then you're gonna see find your tablet. So it allows you to remotely locate your Fire tablet. So you're gonna wanna turn that on. And essentially, if you do happen to lose your tablet, then you can go online and then you can locate where it is. Now it might get stolen or maybe you just misplaced it somewhere in your house. I have no idea what situation you would wanna use this for, but I'll tell you what, you really have nothing to lose by enabling it, so I definitely recommend doing that. Now the Fire HD8 Plus 
does have very good battery life. However, there is a method to make the battery last even longer. So this could definitely come in handy if you are on a long trip and you really wanna make the most of your battery life. So pull down the shade, go to the settings, go to battery, and then you're gonna see some different options here to maximize your battery life. So we have low power mode, so you can turn that on, and that will optimize your device's display to conserve power. And this mode turns off automatically when your fire is charging. There's also automatic low power mode. So low power mode will be enabled automatically at 20% battery remaining. You can adjust this to even 40% or turn it off completely if you don't care about your battery life being as long as it potentially could be. So I definitely recommend going to this battery section and exploring it a bit and seeing which options here would improve your experience when using the device. And finally, I wanna show you how to change your device's name. So to do this, you're gonna pull down the shade again, go to the settings, and then you're gonna type in name, change your device's name. Now you can see right here, this one is called my third fire. I've owned a bunch of these. I've actually owned more than three, but I can rename this to Kevin Breeze. Fire HD 8 Plus. Okay, we're going to save that. And now the name has been updated. So I hope you enjoyed these tips and tricks and hidden features about the Amazon Fire HD 8 Plus. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful. If you did like it, then definitely give it a thumbs up. Check out my other content here on the channel and take a look at the link in the video description to see the most up-to-date pricing for the tablet. But I hope you found some value from this video and have an excellent day.